QLC Plus Fixtures and Groups. Now, as you can see, we have QLC Plus booted up, and I'm assuming that you have downloaded and um, brought into the program my generic 100 uh, fixtures. And loading that up is simple. You just go to the blue load here, and I pulled in my generic 100 QXW, so it open, and it opens up that file. Then I go over to the Fixtures tab, and it shows me all the fixtures that are um, have been allocated here already. So this is a one-to-one -one patch. So you can see dimmer number one here is universe one address, DMX address one. And we go down the list all the way down to 100. So I would make two suggestions here. First of all, uh, to make it easier, I would go through and I would label these as to where these lights are or what they're doing in your rig. And that's very, very simple. I double click here and it brings up the change fixtures property. And let's say I'm going to label this house, uh, this light front of house. I'll put FOH on it. I can type anything I want. So I go, um, click OK. And it's been relabeled FOH. So let's do another one. Double click and label it FOH. Click OK. And we are good to go. So I would go through the list and label your lights. Look up at your rig and see, you know, what, what do you have connected to DMX 3 and 4 and 5 and 6 and 7 and 8 and so on. Um, if you want to eliminate some lights that you may not have plugged in, you're welcome to do that. Just be aware that if you do eliminate, when we get over to the virtual console section, I've actually pre-assigned a lot of these dimmers to some of the virtual console sliders. So that'll mean that some of the sliders on the virtual console won't, won't work. But I can also show you how to reassign those which you may want to do anyway. But again, I'm trying to make this as simple as I can. So if you're somebody that doesn't want to bother with reassigning, don't eliminate any of these. Just leave them as they are. Just go ahead and label them so that you know what they are, what lights they're controlling. Now, the second thing I would do to make programming more easy is to go over to your channel groups tab here and create some groups because you're going to find that that's more, uh, much easier than doing single lights by themselves if you're creating some scenes. And creating groups is very, very simple. Click on the plus tab up here. Give the group of names. So we're going to call this front of house, F-O-H. Then go through and select your lights that are going to be in that group. So I'm going to say it's this one here, this one. So again, you can see where labeling it uh, helps a lot. Um, maybe this one here is going to be a front of house. Maybe this one and then this one. And then maybe one more there. You don't have to fill in any of this. Let's click on OK, and you can see now we have a group name front of house. It's just plain dimmers, and there are six channels involved in it because there are six lights. If I click on this, you see it brings up over here what they are, the fixture names, and how many channels each one of those fixtures have, and their you know their description, and it just says dimmer number one in itself. But I would go through and set your different groups of lights because that's going to make it much much easier to uh, do some programming uh, later. If you decide that you need to add some lights, that you need more than 100, that's a very easy procedure too. Um, you can simply click on the plus up here and you give the new fixture a name. You can either go to generic down here and call it uh, just a generic lighting, which is going to give you a dimmer and give it an address and how many channels it has. Um, and then how many of the more of these you want to add. Um, it's giving you a suggested starting address because we've already patched 100 lights. So it's basically saying, look at, you've already patched at, uh, DMX addresses 1 through 100. They're taken already. So the closest open address is 101. Um, you can also go through, there's other manufacturers in here if you do have some other lighting. Say, for example, you have something from, uh, uh, I think this looks like it's Chauvet. And you have a four bar in here that's like uh, 15 different channels of information. You can click that 101 and you can say how many of these. Uh, and you can even put an address gap and just click OK. And that will install that fixture for you. And that's pretty much it. Uh, other than that, you can simply uh, operate with the 100 channels the way that I've given them to you.